Hey guys, it's Alicia from the Brim Brown Toyota CW30 Street Team. As a lot of you may know, Zach and I are embarking on a fitness and lifestyle transformation with 1% Fitness. But when I was talking to Rob at 1% Fitness, he was telling me, you know, cut the cardio and do a lot more strength training. I was a little bit like, well, when I go to the gym, I don't know what I'm doing. And so he set me up with um, Ron from X365 Fitness. So tell me, why strength tra training versus cardio? Absolutely. So there are a lot of benefits when it comes to actually utilizing weight training and strength training um, in addition to any kind of cardiovascular activity that you're trying to do while trying to lose weight. Um, it also, it, in part to um, helping to actually change body composition and develop lean muscle mass, it's uh, a great way to actually burn calories throughout the day. Um, studies have actually shown that with each additional pound of lean muscle mass you're actually able to put on, um, you're you're able to burn um, 30 to 50 more calories um, well, on top of the normal rate that you would normally burn throughout the day. So when I did my scan, it said that I burn like 1,500 calories a day just kind of living. So if, as I build more lean muscle mass, that number should Goes increase. Up. Okay, Absolutely. cool. Um, I know like a, a common misconception for women especially is if I weight train, I'm going to get big, I'm going to look like a man. Kind of talk to me a little bit about that. Absolutely. Huge misconception. So just... Hormonally, it's just not possible. It's not something that's going to happen. In fact, when um, women strength train and utilize weights with their weight loss, um, they actually find that um, with the development of their muscle, they actually have shape. So when you're actually losing weight and slimming down, all of a sudden you've got some shape to your arms, your abs, your legs, and that's what people want versus just uh, losing the weight and all of a sudden they're just kind of a stick. Right. So tell me a little bit about how you kind of set up your plans for your clients. Absolutely. So um, it's 100% complete. Uh, when it comes to health and fitness, it needs to be balanced. And so we take um, your nutrition into consideration. I develop um, a, a meal plan and a nutrition plan based on what your goals are and where you're at currently with your physical state. Um, and then we tailor a specific uh, physical performance plan that involves weights, cardiovascular activity, and all that kind of stuff. Um, we use an in-house app, uh, the X365 Fitness app. And with that, we program, program that all in. Um, we do check-ins week over week and we see how you're progressing and based on how your body's taking all the information and, and uh, handling the workouts and the nutrition, we make adjustments from that and making sure that you're efficiently getting the results that you want. Cool, so when I was talking to Rob at 1% Fitness, um, we were going over how many calories I should be eating and he told me I should be eating about 1,700. And I kind of panicked because yeah. I was like, you know, in the past when I've done stuff, I've kind of cut down to 1,200 calories. Yep. And you were telling me that's, you know, that's too low. Kind of talk about why you should be eating more versus less. Absolutely. So there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, first off, um, when you're losing weight, typically it's, you want to think of it like a marathon, not necessarily a sprint. And so you want to be able to give yourself some time um, to actually do that. And so if you start off too low and you hit a plateau where your body stops losing weight, you only have to go down. So if you're crash dieting, you're starting off with a thousand calories, then you have to drop those lower and lower until you're practically eating nothing. You also run the risk of your body going to what we call survival mode. And from there, the body actually won't allow you to lose any more weight. And so you have to start eating more just to break out of that. Um, secondly, um, when we're talking about um, overall health and well-being, you know, it's not just about um, how you look, it's also, also about how you feel. And so during the entire weight loss process, you know, you want to be feeling good, um, you want to feel good in the gym, outside the gym, have a lot of energy. And so by balancing the, the nutrition out um, through the macros and through the calories, um, you feel much better through that process. So I think also, you know, when people think, okay, they're counting calories, they're kind of still eating whatever they want. They're mm -hmm. like, okay, this pizza is 700 calories, so then I can have a thousand of something else. How important is it to be eating the right foods to fill those calories? Very, very important. You know, when we're talking about macronutrients, so your proteins, your carbohydrates, your fats, all of those play a part in um, what it does in the body. Um, all that play a part in your performance and also how you feel. And so, if you're, um, if you have a specific macro goal or how many cal uh, specific calories you're trying to take in, and you fill those up with a lot of simple sugars um, and a lot of uh, what we call dirty foods, um, you know, you may be hitting that. Uh, you may be hitting that aesthetic goal there. Um, you're missing a lot of the micronutrients that your body needs to actually function properly. And so it's very, very important that you're utilizing, you know, your complex carbohydrates, clean source proteins, vegetables, and things like that. 
Okay, cool. So you're going to be setting up a whole program for me. So I'm going to yes. be meeting with you twice a week, but yep. then the rest of the week I'll kind of have a workout off, exactly. off the app, right? Mm -hmm. Um, do I need to be doing other workouts on top of that? Like, if I really want great results, should I be also running and, and going to the gym, you know, twice a day? What, what should I really be doing? <laughs> I, I like the attitude, going above and beyond. Um, you know, with uh, everything that I'm programming for you, as long as you're sticking with that plan, you're going to get the results and you're going to get it in, in an efficient time frame. Again, it's, it's about finding that balance of uh, making sure that you're feeling good throughout the entire process and that you're able to maximize the time that you are spending in the gym, uh, as well as your nutrition and getting the results that you want. So as long as you're doing exactly what I tell you to do as it shows in the app, you're gonna get where you need to be quickly. Perfect, I like that. I like the idea of maximizing, because I think that's been a big problem. I go to the gym, I see all these weights, all these machines, and yep. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. So I'll walk over to machine, try it out, and 100%. I'm probably not actually maximizing my time there. But if I follow your, if I follow your program, mm -hmm. you know, then I don't have to work out two or three times a day. Right, and exactly, and that's the benefit of personal training too, right? You get to come in a couple times a week with me, we get to go through all the workouts, and you get to make sure that you're doing it right, you're setting at the right pace, the right intensity, and you have the correct form. Okay, cool. All right, well, we're going to um, do a workout. I'm a little nervous that he is going to kick my butt, <laughs> but um, we'll see you guys later. Perfect. Let's do it.